what's up guys rahul here from gizmo byte and this is going to be my final review of the HTC 10 this year's flagship device from HTC let's begin this particular unit is sponsored by our friends at technovision check out your nearest technovision outlet for best prices on a variety of smartphones links in the description for full details if you haven't watched my HTC 10 unboxing video i leave a card up top and a link in the description as well so don't forget to check it out Let's start with the build quality, and I'll just say it, this phone is drop dead gorgeous. It's got a solid build with a complete metal unibody construction with chamfers in the back and it is very comfortable ergonomically, which means that even though it's on the heavier side, it's really easy to hold as the back is rounded and the sides are flat. The buttons on the device are really clicky and sturdy. The micro SD card slot and the SIM card slot are also easily accessible. And the hardware is IP53 certified which means that it can handle small amount of dust and water but do not make the mistake of taking it in the shower with you. Speaking of the display, again it's a gorgeous display. It's 5.2 inch Quad HD Super LCD display protected by Gorilla Glass 4. It's really vibrant and has great color accuracy but it's not the brightest of them all. It's barely manageable in sunlight but the sharpness is on point. A change which HTC made this year is with the speakers. Gone are the dual front facing boom sound speakers from last year. Now we have the new boom sound speakers each with a built in amp located at the bottom and in the earpiece. So the speaker at the bottom is for the lows and the mids whereas the one inside the earpiece is for the highs. Together they work like a woofer and a tweeter and generally the audio coming out of this phone is simply brilliant be it from the speakers or from the headphones because of the high quality DAC. Well done HTC. Moving on to the specs, it completely nails them. It's got a Snapdragon 820 chipset coupled with an Adreno 530 GPU and 4 GB RAM which is exactly what you would expect from a 2016 flagship device and it completely reflects in the performance as the device is really quick and snappy. The responsiveness of the device is great and overall the HTC Send skin on top of Android Marshmallow seems to be working great as I have had no issues at all with it, which also extends to the gaming part of it. There were absolutely no lag, stutters and frame drops whatsoever even in the heaviest of the titles. A lot of the stuff really feels snappy because the Sense UI this time around has faster animations and on the whole Sense 8 feels a lot like stock Android which is why it's my favorite Android skin. Another good thing about HTC is that they have removed all the duplicate HTC apps and now are concentrating on stock Google apps. The fingerprint sensor also works great, not the best but on par with the one in the GS7 and right behind the iPhone. Combine all that with a 3000mAh battery and you've got yourself a phone which on consistent use might just last the whole day. I got around 3.5 to 4 hours of screen on time but do remember that screen on times are purely subjective to your usage. The standby time was okay, overall a pretty decent battery. Moving on to the camera, MKBHD said that the HTC 10 camera is probably in the top 10 but definitely not the best and I couldn't agree more. It's got a 12 ultra pixel sensor with f1.8 aperture, OIS, dual tone dual LED flash and laser assist for autofocus and this takes fairly decent pictures. You can capture good photos and great 4K video but when comparing them with say the S7, let's just say that one could clearly make out the difference. Now by no means am I saying that the camera is bad, it's just above average. Nothing's oversaturated and the photos look great in natural light and low light is also great thanks to the OIS and aperture and the dynamic range is good as well. The secondary camera is of 5 megapixels with OIS support so expect stabilized selfies and great indoor performance. So in the end I can say that it has a lot going for it as it checks all the right boxes. It is a really really good phone, obviously not an ideal flagship as no phone is perfect but I'd say that I can use this phone as my daily driver anytime and if I can use it then you can too. I definitely recommend it. And now I'll just leave you with some benchmarks. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and do share it as well. Don't forget to check out our friends at Technovision, subscribe to Gizmobyte for more content like this. Until next time, this is Rahul signing off. Peace.